Several years ago, we started to integrate imaging systems with radiation treatment machines to allow us to see anatomy within the body so we can place radiation with precision and accuracy. These systems allowed us to see some soft tissue, but not as much as we could see using MR, or magnetic resonance imaging. We've now integrated an MR scanner and a radiation treatment machine together for MR guided radiotherapy, or MRGRT. MRGRT is really, um, I think, going to represent a paradigm shift in how we deliver care for patients. And the advantage of MR over the kinds of imaging technologies that we're currently using is that it allows us to see anatomical details um, much more clearly, much more clearly than we've ever been able to see in the past, and actually visualize those anatomical structures in the case of brachytherapy at the same time as we're putting the needles or the other devices into the patient. When we started to build our MRGRT system, we wanted to make sure we maintained the very best radiation treatment and the very best MR imaging quality. So we keep the radiation machine and we bring a magnet into the room, moving the patient between the treatment machine and the magnet on a specially designed robotic couch. This allows us to keep the patient still and the same position relative to the robot while we acquire very high quality MR images of the patient. Now this is the first of its kind. We worked with the Canadian Foundation for Innovation to get the funding and two industry partners, IMRIS and Varian, to make this unique, one-of-a-kind facility. We had to bring together a huge team of people coming from diverse backgrounds um, to make this happen. And, and part of the success, I think, has been the fact that we work in an environment where there is such strong uh, crosstalk between the technical side of the development here to build this space uh, and the clinical side, uh, which from this point will go forward and actually utilize this space now to demonstrate benefit for patients. And it's being in the kind of environment that U of T fosters that has allowed this to happen. This is so exciting because it allows us to push the limits of precision and accuracy in radiation therapy. We'll be able to do things for patients, I believe, that we haven't been able to do in the past, and that at the end of the day, patients and their families will truly benefit from the, all of the effort that has gone into this. Radiation is used in 50% of all cancer patients to either cure them of their cancer or take away pain, for example. And getting to the limit of the performance of radiotherapy is very exciting.